While house hunting before their move from San Francisco to Southern California, this couple were taken with a ranch home's location along a golf course. But they didn't care for its 1980s style or its layout, which was full of odd angles and had a closed-off kitchen. They hired T7 Architecture to design an addition and reconfigure the interior spaces. Kitchen and bath designer Bonnie Bagley Catlin joined the team to design a kitchen that would function efficiently and suit the homeowner's style. The couple had relocated to be closer to their daughter and teenage granddaughters, and they all loved to cook together. So Catlin created his own kitchen layout with multiple prep areas, a cooking zone, a coffee zone, lots of countertop space and a large island. She also added a wall of windows to bathe the room in natural light. After photos by Sheldon Ivester of Ivester Creative Kitchen at a glance who lives here, a couple location, Rancho Santa Fe, California size, 284 square feet, the architects opened the formerly closed off space to the living room on the right and a breakfast room located behind the counter stools. The cooking zone is out of frame to the left are the fridge and the coffee zone. Activity revolves around the large island in the center of the space. It has seating, an ice maker, a second dishwasher, open shelves for cookbooks, lock the cabinet door seen here conceals the ice maker. Hire a certified kitchen and bathroom designer before, the existing kitchen had cozy charm and a generous footprint, but it's the peninsula hemmed in the work area and blocked easy access to the refrigerator, which was behind it. The room was closed off from the rest of the house, and its look wasn't in keeping with the renovation's warm, modern style. The first plan drawn up before Catlin joined the team proposed covering the ranged wall with tall pantry cabinets. This cut down on the counter space significantly, Catlin says. By specifying more efficient lower cabinets along the perimeter and in the island and by working a walk-in pantry into the plans, she eliminated the need for tall cabinets and a lot of upper cabinets. Shop for Matt Black Kitchen Faucet This built-in knife block drawer is conveniently located next to the prep sink. The secondary dishwasher is also located here. By packing the lower cabinets with efficient inserts, Catlin was able to install windows rather than upper cabinets along this wall. As a result, the renovated space has a more open feel and enjoys more expansive views and light. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.